Pop. What's going on everyone? How's everyone doing? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're we'll be looking at my brand new completely battery powered ceremony audio rig and actually it doesn't even need to be for ceremonies only it could be for an event too but it's completely battery powered and all it is is this little rack right here and these two speakers Before we jump into the heart and soul of this whole entire battery operation, which is the rack itself, let's look at the speaker, which is a completely battery powered speaker and I've been using it now for a little over a year. I've never made a video on it, so let's look at that. So right here we have the LD Systems Maui 5 Go and I'm showing you guys right now to show you guys it in the bags themselves. The bags do not come with the speaker, it's an external purchase you have to make, just a heads up. But right here is where all of your sticks lie. I will show you guys that here in a second, as well as a power cord if you want to plug it in as well but it is battery powered and you have your sub which is right here which is an eight inch sub and again we have a cover on it for protection pop the cover off you have your sub right here this is an eight inch sub like i've said already and your sticks plug into the top really interesting thing is that the battery is not in the sub itself so right here if we unzip the bag for the ld systems Bowie 5 go we can access the three sticks that make up this speaker. First stick we have is the battery. Yes, the battery is one of the sticks and that's probably one of the coolest features about this is the fact that the battery, as you guys can see right there, is one of the actual sticks. This is your lithium ion battery. And that means that you could buy a few of these and potentially you can swap out batteries mid gig if you need to. But I'll tell you right now, the battery life on this thing is absolutely insane. Your second stick is purely a spacer. There is no components in this. It's just a wire spacer to get your tweeter stick, which has all your mids and high drivers up higher. So you can run it right on top of the battery like so, or you can use the spacer to get this up higher if you need to. The LD Systems Maui 5 Go does have its own dedicated mixer in the back, which makes life a thousand times easier. It has Bluetooth capabilities, so you can Bluetooth this to your phone or to your laptop or whatever. You have an instrument plug in here, a mic plug in here, as well as some EQ with your sub and your high boost and your main level here. You can switch your system between stereo and mono output. And then on the back side here, you have your left and right uh, uh, line inputs as well as a system output itself and then you have your ACU power input here to charge the device if you need more battery and like we said the first stick here is your actual battery so right here's the battery indicator uh, you have three green LEDs to show you how much battery you got as you guys can see right there I'm just above the second one apparently so quickly fun facts and review on the speaker real quick fun fact It has anti-feedback suppression built into it live active feedback suppression So it's constantly monitoring and uh, doing live anti-feedback, which is pretty awesome And I've actually demoed it with some mics and stuff and actually tried it out myself. It works pretty dang well. Personal review of the speaker, it's like equivalent to the sound quality of like the mid-range of most companies like your EV EKX or your JBL uh, PRX or actually it sounds a lot like the Avante A15s. It's not the stupid high quality clarity that you get out of something like the SRXs or the ETXs or the RCF super high quality tops and stuff like that but it does have really good sound quality. Bass output is very lacking but again it is an 8 inch sub and I use it for ceremonies mostly because that is what this speaker does really well at ceremony music. And lastly it does get really freaking loud. Now let's move on to the best part the rack. So right here is the rack and as I remove the front plate you guys will see some cables. That's because I wanted to keep the cables inside of the case for convenience. This is a plastic 6U case again from SKB and inside of the lid there's plenty of space especially on the front here to store cables. So I got two 25 foot XLRs as well as a 10 foot PowerCon cable to power this if we have power because it is both battery powered and AC powered. It's got some backup built into it. It's pretty cool. So now let me grab the camera and show you guys what all the goodies are inside of this. Oh lastly let me remove the back to show you guys that there's two antennas already built into it and um, the cabling's all tidy. So like I said in front of the 6U case I keep two of the 25 foot XLRs that is con to connect this to the speaker which I'll show later and uh, we have a 10 foot power car and cable to both charge the unit 
and if we have AC power, we can plug into AC power. Like I said, this is completely battery powered, so let me take you through how the battery powered works. Right here, we have a StarTech 8U outlet, and this is a custom built one, so this is not the stock one that you'll buy online. My buddy Jim over at Colorado Sound and Light custom built this with a lithium ion battery built into the unit. So right here is the switch for the battery itself. This is the switch for AC power. So if you wanna run strictly off AC power, you go off of this. This switch purely controls the battery. So bottom is charging, middle is battery off, and your top is battery on. As you can see right there, we have a voltage indicator to tell you how many volts it has. Obviously, it is a 12 volt to be able to power our microphones and our mixer. I will show you guys where the mixer is hidden here in a second, but we can turn on our audio technicas right now and we have our mics live and ready to go running off of the 12 volt battery. And like I said, it is not powered right now. There is completely no power plugged into this. So now let me show you where the mixer lies. And that mixer would be a Yamaha MG06 mixer. You guys have seen me use it all the time before. It lies in here. And like everything else in this case, it is completely pre-wired. It is sitting inside a 3U shelf from Gator. I'll link all the stuff that I've used, but a lot of this stuff is custom. So uh, this is a custom lithium battery. The plate on the back is custom. I've custom made this uh, 3U foam insert. So we have the two handheld mics in here as well as our two lapels in here that hook up to the two Audio Technicas. Right here we have mic one input, mic two input. The Yamaha allows me to have a high and a low as well as a plus 26 pad and a high pass 80 hertz crossover and obviously a trim knob for each channel we can also run both of those mics in either mono or stereo and then we also have on input 3-4 that is just a uh, line input from our rca ports on the back and then we have our headphone level right here we can plug in a quarter inch headphone jack to listen in we have our master volume as well all of it dedicated right in here for the ceremony mixer. And that is pretty much all of the goodies on the front of this unit and how it all works. I'll explain how the ACU and battery interchange when you are actually have it plugged in. So if you do lose power on AC, it will go straight to battery. All right guys, so here is probably one of the coolest custom pieces of the whole entire rack build. And that is the custom port plate. As you can see right here, we have two half wave antennas. I use this little Velcro strap right here to keep them from falling down like that. Put both of those up. There is an antenna combiner behind here that combines the two microphones into these two half wave antennas. Pretty awesome. We can also take these antennas off if we wish. They just come on and come off. So those are for the microphones. Down below that, we have clearly labeled everything, antenna A, antenna B. We have our main outs, XLR outs, the send to the speakers. This is coming from the Yamaha mixer. We also have the 3-4 input, the aux input on the Yamaha. We have RCA ports right here. I elected to do RCA ports instead of XLR for this reason right here. For most ceremonies that we're doing, we are just using an eighth inch jack into say a laptop or an iPad. And uh, it's a little more convenient to just run an RCA cable like so to the headphone jack. Now we do have two outlets right here and these do not run off the battery. These are accessory outputs if we have our main power going into the unit. If we do hook up into AC with our custom made uh, AC 10 foot power con cable, these outlets will be powered off of the power strip in there. So that way we can plug in a laptop charger or a phone charger, etc. But again, these do not work off the battery. They just work if you have AC power coming in. And then down below we have the cables that run into the Yamaha rack drawer right there. That's pretty much it for the case and how it works. So now let me quickly time lapse set up all of this, how it all works. I'm gonna show you guys quickly how it all works. And then I'm gonna show you the coolest feature and that is is the uh, backup battery system so that if you are on AC and someone trips over a power cable or unplugs your unit or you lose power everything will keep going with the battery backup in there or like now you could just run it straight off a of battery 
and that is it guys super super simple to set up like i said you just plug in your two xlrs or one if you just want to run a mono output plug them into the battery powered speaker wherever it is that's why we have 50 feet of xlr in total so we can run it super far away super close if you want power you can plug in the ac power like this right here 10 foot ac power cable and you plug in your aux and you are all set and ready to go all you gotta do is grab your mic go through do a scan on the unit so that way you have proper signal. I'll do a whole video on these microphones and how you scan and all that sort of features, but you're all set and ready to go. Now I will point out in the case, we do have two lapels and two handhelds, and that is done on purpose. Most of our weddings were running lapels for ceremonies, but most of our receptions were running microphone handhelds, obviously, for people to do speeches and for us to do speeches. This whole unit will tie in to another flight case that is going to be used at the receptions and i'm going to be doing that in a separate video i got to build that flight case out which is over here this 4u one which has a power conditioner and has another drawer and some other features that are going to tie into this so basically here at fusion sound and lighting we're going to have this unit right here which will go to our ceremonies once the ceremony is done you will take this you'll plug in a couple ports on the back and you will be running for your reception with the exact same microphone it's gonna be really cool it's gonna be really dope still working on that so i do have pandora going right now playing some music on my phone which is coming into that rca port on the back line three four right here i can turn up three four and we got volume as you guys can see it gets really loud then I have my handheld turn on here. This is actually paired to the second one. So if I turn up my second volume right here and I talk into the microphone, we have volume. And as you guys can see right now, I'm speaking literally right beside the speaker, like right in front of it. And we're getting zero feedback right now. That is the beauty of the anti-feedback suppression inside of the LD Systems Maui 5 Go. I'm literally standing like you guys can, like, like this is literally me, microphone facing the speaker, like, literally two feet away. So now I already mentioned the battery backup system. I'm gonna be showing you guys that as well as all the reasons why this is the ultimate ceremony build system. And you don't have to have any fancy sound equipment. You don't have to have a sound craft, UI, a 16 or whatever you don't need anything fancy to run it with this because the components that are in this do all of those features for you let me show you all of the main reasons why this is the ultimate system ever now that I've shown you guys the whole entire system and how it works first point that was the anti-feedback suppression I just showed you that you don't need a fancy soundboard on here to notch out mics and make mics sound good because there's anti-feedback suppression already built into the LD systems Maui 5 go so you're not going to struggle with feedback as much as you would with a standard speaker therefore you can use a cheaper mixer like the Yamaha MG6 in here and you'll still have a little bit of notching you can reduce the highs you can reduce the lows a little bit if you do happen to run into some very harsh feedback or something like that but if you set it up properly and you use this and you use it in a way that's not really close to where they're doing speeches say at the back of the ceremony or off to the side you will have zero issues with anti-feedback let's talk about the next biggest thing with wireless microphones and that is dropped signal that is the reason why i have the audio technica 3000 fourth gens right here these are in my opinion these are the best high quality microphones in the 400 to 500 megahertz range which is the legal range that you're allowed to run in now and it has the scan features that i've shown in videos before where you can scan and make sure that you're running on a frequency that doesn't have an issue not to mention it also has a backup frequency feature on the handhelds where you can push that button there on the bottom and you can automatically switch to a backup channel if you do start to drop out and same thing apply to the lapel third most important thing and that is power either not having power available or power gets cut off somehow so first off battery power that is completely taken care of we have the ld systems battery powered speaker this thing will last easily five hours on battery at pretty much full volume second off we have the custom built colorado sound and lighting battery system down here that allows this thing to be completely powered off of battery now the worst case scenario is that you're on ac power which is indicated right here like this and someone goes and unplugs your power so I'm gonna demonstrate what happens right now by unplugging the power in the back of the unit to show you guys what happens. Okay, we just lost power. Everything 
did reset. And that is due to the fact that there is a relay switch in there that is looking to see if it has AC12 power. So when it loses AC12 power, the relay switch flips and it goes to the lithium ion battery power. So basically shutting the mics off and turning them back on. In that worst case scenario where someone trips over your outlet or trips over your power cable and unplugs your unit or the venue just loses power, only being down for that little bit of time is well worth the advantage of being able to switch over instantly. But I've actually never timed how long that takes. So let's do a demo real quick and show you guys when that power does trip how long before sound resumes. Specifically with the mics, because the mics are by far the worst possible case scenario. AC power is plugged in right now. I'm gonna flick this switch. The switch is gonna turn AC power off and it's gonna power surge. I'm gonna flick the switch. We're gonna turn the power off, basically the AC power in, and it's going to, the relay is gonna flip it to lithium ion mine battery. We're gonna see how long before the mic resumes picking up. So we're gonna flick the switch off in three, two, one, and talking as the mic is down right now we don't know what's going on the mic is down right now and now we're back on so there is a delay but it's well worth it now obviously the whole unit is battery power so you can avoid that altogether and just run off a of battery power itself and not even worry about the AC in situations where AC is very convenient it is a very convenient way to just run AC versus having to do that and having that battery backup is super helpful. Moving on to the fourth most important thing in a ceremony audio rig, and that is making sure your mics are on and that you have signal. One thing with the Yamaha MG06 in here that I can't do, that I can do with my Yamaha MG12, the bigger mixer, is pre cue channels before I apply them to the master. Now this is one great thing about the audio Technica's right here. If I flip over to this other screen, it's gonna give me an indicator right here. And this indicator right here is showing when my microphone has volume. So if I put the microphone up to my mouth, I am not not applying it to the master but I can see that the microphone itself has volume and that is a great sign now along those lines I can't pre-listen and actually make sure the mic sounds good that's why you do sound checks before the ceremony even starts to make sure all the mics are sounding good and I can tweak it basically during the ceremony to make it sound the way I need to make it sound and that ladies and gentlemen is the rack build the completely battery powered ceremony rack build and the speaker battery powered that is paired with it to make it all work I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video I will be making a second video which is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how this unit was built right here a lot of stuff was custom so it is going to be a little bit extensive for you guys but it will be a complete walkthrough to show you guys how it is built if you guys are interested in doing battery powered stuff like this be sure to hit up Jim from Colorado Sound and Light he's got like a battery powered pack that I've shown before that you can use with your current system right now you don't have to have this power stripping that he made specifically for me you can use that power pack and power your microphones right now as they are. So with that said, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the custom build. I think it turned out awesome, and I can't wait to get this thing out at events. Don't forget to like the video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on notifications, all that good stuff. And like always, guys, my name is Deidre Webb. Keep them records spinning, and I'll see you guys next time with an amazing, awesome video, probably using all this lighting that's behind me. Peace.